All right, section three, media elements on your project page. Again, the big fail, the big, most common fail that I've seen on project pages is students believe that they're just supposed to include a picture of their finished product. That's, that's lame. That doesn't tell me anything. So no, we're looking for lots of iterations. We're looking for lots of works in progress. We're looking for funny fails. Uh, if you have those, those are great. If it's a collaborative group project, we're looking for group photos. Uh, if you are interviewing anybody um, from an empathy standpoint, uh, it's pictures of interviews. So it's thumbnails. It's uh, rough drafts. Now, let's take a look at what it takes to get a LP for media. If your page doesn't include any media, images or video, it's text only. That's that's. That's sad, actually. That's pretty sad. That's an LP. So, P is your page includes one to two media elements. I'm being super nice with one to two, by the way. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, for M, your page includes three to five different media elements. Now, remember, this can be images. This can be video. This can be audio. Um, whatever you want. But basically, it's showing off in a media format what it is that you're working on and your process as you're working through this project. So media, images, videos that show iterations or a prog progression of work. This can include failed attempts. Uh, some of the failed attempts are actually the best photos because they, they, they add a little humor sometimes. So for an EM, the last section, your page includes more than five different media elements, images, video, etc., and shows a clear progression and improvement, this is key, and improvement of your project through numerous iterations. So let me show you how easy this is going to be. I mean, seriously. Uh, so here you go. I'm just going to scroll. I'm not going to pause. Just take a look at what images that I'm showing. All right. So again, this one was pretty lame. This one, this one didn't do a lot except get me the EM. Oh, there's an image. Oh, look, an image. Image, 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 image. Oh, lots of images. And this isn't even all of these. I had like a two dozen or at least pictures of books. I only I didn't want to put all of them on here because that would have been like overkill. So I just put four. Oh look, image. Again, I had more drop uh, drop caps too. Uh, oh look, images. And I had more of these, and I had more of these. So in actuality, as you can see, the progression go through here on the poster uh, directions that I went and then changed. And I talk about down here why I changed them. Uh, marketing assets. All right, and final. All right, as you can see, getting. Uh, more than five images and media elements should be a piece of cake. All right, so it doesn't take much. Uh, in fact, as I just said, I ended up editing down images that I could have put in here uh, just from the standpoint of you didn't with it, I didn't want this page to get just crazy long and boring. So I kind of picked highlighted images. So that wraps up your media element section. All right, make sure you have lots of pictures. Uh, hopefully, uh, you've took pictures along the way. But if you didn't, if you didn't and you still have the Photoshop file, you can always, always retroactively sort of go through the process, reverse engineer your design by turning layers on and off and showing what your progress was, even if you did not save iterations uh, of them along the way. That's, a, that's a, not a great way to do it. It does take a little extra time than if you would have just taken screenshots or done some save as versions on the way working through it but it does get the job done all right that's it all right next we're talking about describing the steps that you went through that you took to go through your process steps and iterations next mm -hmm.